Hello students, welcome once again to my channel Study Simple Lecture Series. This channel is only for the technical purposes. I do post technical videos on how to do various advanced technical stuffs in this channel. So kindly like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and also put comment in the comment section. Today's topic is Gherkin. What is Gherkin language? Gherkin is not a programming language like uh, Java, Python or Ruby or C++ languages. Gherkin language is a plain English language you, which is also human readable and very much easy language. It is also called a business readable domain specific language it's created specifically for the behavior descriptions. Gherkin serves two purposes, one for serving their automation, automated test and also the project documentations. And it is not a programming language so that you that has the functions like Java we have functions Python we are function this these are all called programming languages but Gherkin is not a programming languages it is a it is a simple business readable domain specific languages so I will tell you what is Gherkin in a very simple way also by giving us very animated examples in this lesson let me take you a live example where a business owner wants to promote coffee in all of his restaurant he is a restaurant owner and he has a couple of restaurants in the entire states so he wants to introduce a new section of beverages coffee for all the restaurants so that each and every restaurant will sell coffee from nowadays so let me go to the animated video for that this video will help you to understand what is Gherkin and what are the components in Gherkin and how you can implement the Gherkin and also you keep on do a comparison of uh, how, how Gherkin is used in our daily language and how Gherkin is used in the programming languages. So let us start the animated session. He is a business owner and he wants to sell coffee all of his restaurants across the states. He's the owner to XYZ store and he will tell that he want to sell coffee to his manager so that his manager can arrange all the things and introduce these beverages in all his restaurant. So the owner is now talking to the manager to and also describing that he wants to sell coffee. So this is the main feature that he wants to sell coffee or main business goal sell hot coffee in all restaurants so this becomes a feature or this becomes the entire business goal right now the manager goes to the team and discuss with other managers that what are the requirements how we can promote it how we can sell it how what are the what are the raw materials required so there is a business team discussions going on to serve the purpose of selling hot coffee in all the restaurants this team discussion will bring out the entire thing that what are the things required to make the hot coffees okay now once this discussion is done now it's time to how we can prepare what are the elements we have and how we can reach to the end product so the teams are divided and the teams are for are looking for what are the things currently we have or what are the things currently we need what are the ingredients practically so coffee beans we need to make the coffee we need water we need milk we need utensils etc these are the discussions going on and these discussions will bring up the result what are the final ingredients we are are required to make coffee or to make the to, to serve the, our end goal so these are everything is coming under the ingredients once we have the ingredients ready now comes the process we have all the ingredients ready okay we have everything in our hand now how we will make it we have to make some process for it so what is the process of making a coffee now we have to boil milk add coffee powder so blah 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 in that step are defined in the process so another team is focusing on what is the process we have required so this i termed that as process now once the process is done we have the end product that is our coffee is ready so now once everything is ready now the manager can 
introduced a new beverage in all the sections of his restaurants in all the states of his restaurant that a new beverage has been introduced is hot coffee so this is how we have introduced hot coffee in all the restaurant so the business owner of the xyz store will be happy and his end goal has been served that selling hot coffee in all restaurants so hot coffee is now available in all the restaurants we have the ingredients we have the process now the end product is ready so this is what is gherkin the entire thing has been described in a plain english language no no coding language has been described okay now if we analogy this with the coding part this ingredient is the given this process is the when and the product is the then okay given means what we have process means what we are going to actions we are going to do that means when and then means what is the end product you are going to have now from the example which i have shown if we come back here to the, our programming logic how we can implement gherkin gherkin is a language that developers use to define tests in cucumber cucumber is a bdd framework we will later learn what is cucumber for now it is used to by the developers and the automation testers as well as the business owners to define what is the product we want how we can do that what we have and what are the actions we need to do so in the given section just like in that example we have what are the products we have when section means what are the actions we required and then section means what is the end result we are coming okay and everything is coming in a feature of what is the feature or what is the business outline we have we are making coffee so in this way we can do a simple we can automate the test cases okay using this feature given when then and but gherkin keywords okay so let me give you a example the given is what we have we have the coffee beans this then means when we boil the coffee this is the action part comes into the play we can use the and because we are adding some more things and sugar and mix it well so this are the and part we can use the and here and then means the coffee is ready so i think i have made you understand what is gherkin and uh, this this scenario these scenarios are similarly say we want to log into facebook then how we can do that we have in the given part what we have we have the link of the facebook we have username and the passwords then what we do we open the facebook open the google browser google chrome browser or hit the link and uh, you give the username and the password and in the this are all the action parts are gone in the when and in the then what is the output we have successfully logged into the facebook so if we are able to successfully log into the facebook the end product is okay fine if we don't there is an error is coming out that means there is a problem in the end product we throw a bug on that the advantages of gherkin very simple so that uh, we, the non programmers can easily understand because it's a plain english language i have written so a non programmer or a non technical person specifically the business owners and is able to understand what you are going to make out of it is a plain english language user stories are also clear and short okay the collaboration between the business stakeholder developer programmers and testers are collaborating with each other so so the all all are in the same page practically um, no doubt the efficiency always increases when we are all in the same page so in this way these are the advantages of gherkin okay so in this video i have shown you what is gherkin i will show you more videos regarding how to implement gherkins and how to learn the cucumber in next videos so keep till then like my channel subscribe my channel and also hit on the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video gets uploaded bye bye for today See you in the next video.